My favorite players are uh, Marcus Brown is 1B and Rock Riggio is 1A. I call them uh, uh, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. And they call me Big Sexy. They're a heck of a lot closer to Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid than I am Big Sexy. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to historic Veterans Field for tonight's Cape League game between the Falmouth Commodores. My parents uh, took us to Cape Cod for two weeks every summer when I was growing up. And we would come to Chatham A's games. So I liked them as a kid. Um, and then my parents continued to come up and my sister continued to come up. And then I, then I had a career as a professor and I lived in New Orleans and I just didn't come up anymore. And I was moving from one job to another in 2015. I was at a conference in Miami. My sister either called or texted me and said, I have your summer job. And there was a, a tweet from ChathamAnglers.com that they needed a PA announcer. So I decided to apply for it and I called Steve West, who was the head of the Chatham Athletic Association. I said, hello, Steve, this is Peter Burns calling. I'm interested in the Chatham Anglers uh, public address announcer job. And my friend was like, what are you doing? And I was talking into his answering machine and I said, that's my audition tape. There you go. Thank you, man, I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Are you coming to the game tonight? Oh yeah, he's gonna be there. All right, what is your name? Max. Max, Max where are you from? Mansfield. Mansfield, Mass? Yep. Yeah. All right, I'm the PA announcer. I'll try to, I'll try to say hello to you from your favorite player, Caden Grice. Oh, I remember my first game. It was the second game of a doubleheader against Falmouth. Everybody came, all my family came up. Extreme nervousness. I was extremely nervous. Cooper Engel, leading off for the Angles, the desert, for the Anglers, the designated hitter. From Clemson, number 37, Cooper Engel. A little ahead of myself. I remember the first time I spoke in public in a microphone when I was five years old, and I was surprised of the reverberation. We want to recognize our merchandise sales team. They are led by... Ed and I was like, whoa. And I, it was the same, it was the same thing. And our media team assistant, the great Jake Klein. They, along with the public address announcer, Peter Bird, that's me, by the way, all do a great job of providing the sights, sounds, and context of Angler's games. And most of all, I'd like to thank me. Basketball. You probably don't know who you are. Snoop Dogg. Yeah. I think uh, as I became more and more of an adult, I got more of a dry, sarcastic sense of humor. I think when I was a kid, I was much more of a, uh, you know, a prop, a prop person, like do the most outrageous thing type of person. Like you would notice my humor by something outrageous I would do. And now it's something I would say sort of sarcastically, yes. The shortstop from Oklahoma State, number 62, Marcus Brown. There's a one you dream of love, yeah, you know, the coming back to love. The mic is live, Dick. You better, you better watch out. The mic is live. They're, they're videoing me. They're going to put on a series about me. Reality show. Called Peter's World. Say my name if I'm. Say my name, say my name. In a minute, in a minute, in a Go ahead, can I say your name? I'm usually always sarcastic, or I'll tell you immediately. You know, I won't leave you hanging. Uh, so if I, if, I, if I don't tell you I'm kidding, uh, then I'm not. Especially when I get mad, like people don't know. Uh, it's sort of a defense mechanism, but it's hard to tell. It's, it's sort of a defense mechanism for me. I can't, I, 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 can, I, can, I can help it, I just don't. I just, I just don't. And I, and I have sort of this character now where my sarcasm is based on what people, not me, would really say. What some people would really say. Uh, and it, people are like, ugh. Yeah, so I'm an acquired taste, unfortunately, I think. I'm, I'm just going to ask a few questions. If you can... Are you going to ask questions today? I am. Okay. If like right can. now, or are they going to be... <laughs> If you can, try to re repeat some of the phrasing of the question right before you start. Okay. Um, yes. Jake, can you hear me? Do you want me to repeat the phrasing of the question before the question? <laughs> you want to sing? All right, here we go, here we go. Oh, look, it's Ben Mills, huh? Seventh inning stretch Hall of Famer. How you doing, Ben? Good, good, good. 
Great. All right, here we go. We've got Ben. We've got Jake Terrio. We've got, who's also in the Hall of Fame, Colin, Savilia, James, Andrew, Zoe, Lena, Enzo, Luca, Ellie, Addy. Are you ready? At some point, I created a seventh inning stretch Hall of Fame. Okay. One day, I don't know whether they planned this or not, but I was walking and I heard Jake Terrio, who was like eight at the time, say to his mother, how do I get into the seventh inning stretch Hall of Fame? Last year, he would do the seventh inning stretch all the time and he would come with Ben. I put Ben in the seventh inning stretch Hall of Fame because he just did it every game. So I would get the list and it would be Jake and Ben, Jake and Ben, Jake and Ben. And, and Jake Terrio's mother, Kim, came up to me and said, you made a very big difference in his life. Like it's a very big deal that he's in the seventh inning stretch Hall of Fame. The reason I'm here is when I was young, I would come to the games and they were a very big deal. They were a very big deal to me. Um, and so, you know, when you're 12 and 13 years old, things are a big deal to you. Anybody wants to come and enjoy Jason Murray's seventh inning stretch Hall of Fame is in. Anybody who wants to join, come on in. Ben, seventh inning stretch Hall of Fame, are you ready? Garrett All right, on three, a one, a two. I see Jake Terrio too, on three. Okay, so here's the bigger story with Ben Mills, okay? The perfect is the enemy of the good. So what I really wanted Ben Mills to do initially was when the opposing batter got into the box with two strikes, I wanted Ben to lead this. I wanted Ben to lead this. And it didn't work. He started it too early. So it like fizzed out by the time like the batter got both feet in the batter's box. Ben just decided, when there's two strikes, I'm gonna say, let's go Anglers, and get people to cheer. Let's go so, technically that's not the way you're supposed to do it. You don't want let's go Anglers when the other team has two strikes on them. And Vic Roberts was here and he's like, we have to coordinate this better. And I'm like, this is perfect just the way it is. I can't do any better than this. So I realized when we had a rally going that I needed Ben. So I ran down the stairs and said, where's Ben? I walked out, again, that clock is ticking. And I walked out and I said, where's Ben? Ben came up and Ben said he didn't want to do it. He initially said, well, I want to wait to the seventh inning. And I said, we, need him now. we can do that now. We need him, we need the, we need this crowd wait, to come up. Oh, it's it's all good, good, good. We have two men on base. I said, we need it now, and I will revoke your membership in the seventh inning stretch Hall of Fame if you don't do it. You're, you're out. I didn't say that part. So he said yes. He walks down, he does one let's go anglers, and Anthony Nunez hits the ball out of the park, and I, I think I hit the ceiling. I screamed. It was sort of like this. Marcus Brown on third, Cooper Ingle on second, and Caden Grice on first. The bases are loaded. Your attention. Good job, Pinch it in for town. Good to see you. From the University of Tampa, number 13. Mambo, Nooney, Mambo, Anthony Nooney. 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 You have no idea how happy this makes me. <laughs> <laughs> Nunez takes a long trot. 7-2 Chatham in the bottom of the sixth. And he came up. He came up after. Yes, you did it. Yes, I did. Yes, you did. And thought that he caused the home run, and I, I thought he caused the home run, too. I cannot be stopped. You can only hope to contain you. You can't stop it, Mills. Beth, Beth, you're a man of the people. I am. I just got it's a home run. You sure did. Now we're up by, like, 
It was a great moment. At the end of the game, I, I tend to think, like, what was the best moment? That was a great moment. That was, like, the best moment of the season. Thank you for coming out tonight. Please arrive home safely. Good night, everyone.